This video is going to show how you can use the Google Chart Tools um, module and Google's API to generate responsive charts. So what I have here is a chart you can get if you configure a view. So we're talking views here. Uh, okay, that's all the other thing. But so got all these settings, right? Uh, what I'm going to do is I go to Format and do Settings, and there's a checkbox here for responsive charts. And what this is going to do is it's going to look at the container on the page um, that the, the chart is placed in and then adapt to that window size when it loads. So first we'll uncheck this so we get just a normal one. And so we'll save on this. And you should see that it's going to make an 800 by 500 chart here. And so that's what these dimensions are, right? So we had 800 by 500. So um, but what I'm doing here is I'm using Omega, which is responsive. And so you imagine if I'm on a cell phone, this chart is immediately less useful. I'm scrolling left and right if I even have that ability, because most likely it's snapped to the window, right? So what we want to do is be able to use this on any device. And so the way we're going to do that is there's a setting of that added support for that's responsive. And what this does is right before it sends this chart to the library to be rendered, it's going to take a look at the container that the chart is being rendered in and what its current screen size is. So in the case of normal theme, that's always going to be static, so it's going to be the same size. In the case of a responsive theme, this will change. And so you immediately see that the chart is definitely bigger than it was before. Um, if I move this to be the entire width of the page, that won't change anything. Chart's still the same size. Uh, where you'll see this start to change is, so we'll snap it back to here, right? You see it still overflows. Uh, the reason it still overflows is because this only happens on the initial page load. And we're not accounting for someone resizing their browser while they're using it. We're counting for, okay, this is what it looks like on a tablet type of a thing. So the page is going to load. It's always going to be the same size. Um, if you would go, say, from, you know, if we're imagining this as landscape, um, if we would go to portrait mode, so we'll shrink that down, right? And then we hit refresh again. It's going to load up and then immediately hit the dimensions of this window. Uh, let's check out our mobile phone view. And we'll refresh again. And you'll see it will send the chart to scale uh, and now into this size. Now, granted, when you have all these results at this size, it might not make a ton of sense to see them that way. You can see I still have this table that's you know, rendering too much data, so I have other things that I have to worry about. But the chart is going to be responsive to the size of the window that it was loaded in. So uh, I think it's pretty cool <laughs> um, to be able to use this more as an application on mobile and things like that uh, for generating visualizations um, to showcase this working on another, another view. So we have here, we have just a little enrollment trends graph. And you'll see I have this right here, right? So there's a block over here that is taking up screen real estate. So let's shrink this down and there we go. So it is still adapting just to the container that it's been loaded in, as you can see. So we can move to this size, and then we got that size on refresh. Move to the largest, so we got 